Hello there and welcome to our Prague channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button or the bell sign underneath the screen. Now a couple of days ago I made a video in which I asked the question you know where are South Africa's black billionaires in uh, also donating money to combating the coronavirus currently in South Africa after two white billionaires had donated a billion rand each. Uh, the, my question in that video was why are the black billionaires not showing any Ubuntu towards South Africa? Now in the meantime I've come in for some criticism as it turns out after my video had been made that the richest black person in South Africa, Patrice Motsepe, donated a billion rand too towards the country's coronavirus effort. Now, according to a statement put out by the Motsepe family, they are saying several, several hundred million rands will immediately be made available with the primary objective of saving lives and slowing and restraining the spread of the coronavirus. We are purchasing sanitizers, disinfectants, personal protective equipment and are in discussions with government health workers and other stakeholders to assist with acquiring other equipment and making resources available which are essential for dealing with a coronavirus pandemic. So it seems that uh, Mr. Patrice Motsepe has come to the party. Uh, I think last time I used the expression stepped up to the plate. Now pardon me if I'm using cliches, but I'm from South Africa, the most cliched country in the world. Here we trade in cliches and commonplaces. And one of the common places in South Africa is of course a thing called BEE. -E. Not a day goes by without one reading those three letters or that acronym in the newspapers and online. And of course, as we all know, they denote black economic empowerment. Now, Mr. Matrice Motsepe, the current distributor of largesse towards uh, the South African population, although they're talking about stakeholders, which it's another South African cliche, which tells me that uh, only the insiders will get access to that money. So you and me, we will probably not benefit from what Mr. Motsepe's cool billion, but uh, the stakeholders, i.e. the insiders, they will have a run at the money. But getting back to BEE, Mr. Motsepe is of course one of the prime beneficiaries of this absurd policy, whereby uh, certain people are enriched in South Africa simply because they happen to be black. Now this is in a country where people are going on about race and racism all the time but now we've got this newfangled form of call it racism whereby if you are black you deserve to be rich or certain black people, certain politically connected black people deserve to be rich. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you in a moment just how connected Mr. Mutsepe happens to be. And, of course, um, you know, if you drive around in Johannesburg, it, it always um, strikes me when I go overseas that nowhere do I see black women driving around in Porsche Panameras. For, for, for some reason, that's the preferred form of transport 
of black women in South Africa is the Porsche Panamera. You, you know, you can't put your head outside the door or go to the shops or wherever without seeing some or other uh, black lady usually wearing some kind of a wig behind the, the steering wheel of a Porsche Panamera. You know, a Porsche Panamera, if you, if you don't follow cars that much, it's, it's a four-door sedan made by uh, Porsche uh, in Germany, the sports car, uh, luxury sports car manufacturer. Now, South Africa must be a sizable pr proportion of the worldwide market in Porsche Panameras because you see them on the roads here all the time. Whereas when I go to Europe, to France, Germany, Netherlands, Sweden, even the United States, I never see a lot of Porsche Panameras and you never see black women driving really expensive cars that cost 100 to 200 million dollars each. That by the way. Now how did Mr. Patrice Motsepe come to be a billionaire? And that comes to my main question. Does Mr. Patrice Motsepe deserve to be a billionaire? Now, if one researches the issue a bit, one comes across certain transaction that was done in 1997, where with the gold price at uh, almost an all-time low, he is reputed to have purchased some marginal gold mines from Anglo Gold under, as it is put, favorable finance terms. Anglo Gold apparently sold uh, Mr. Motsepe six shafts for the measly amount of $7.7 .7 million and he would then be allowed to repay them out of the future earnings of his new company which was to be called African Rainbow Minerals. Now, just think back a, a year or two, um, there was a big scandal when it came to light that the Gupta brothers, the notorious Gupta brothers, in fact, I, I was, <laughs> by sheer coincidence, once uh, privileged to meet uh, one of the Gupta brothers, Mr. Atu Gupta, and he offered me a cup of Rebo's tea, which I accepted. And that, that, that's the sum total of gifts I'd ever accepted from Mr. Atu Gupta, which a lot of people in our government, of course, cannot say. They accepted a lot more from the Gupta brothers, as we've seen in the so-called Zondo Commission uh, inquiry. But be that as it may, um, there was a scandal when it turned out that the Guptas had bought a coal mine and then they'd financed the coal mine out of future earnings with ESCOM. So ESCOM paid them up front the money, 500 odd million rand, which uh, was a bit more than the 7.7 .7 million dollars we're talking about here for Mr. Mo Patrice Motsepe. And everybody was scandalized by that. You know, they thought it was corrupt. I'm not saying the Gupta brothers were not corrupt, but all I'm saying is that it seems that, you know, so-called favorable deals are acceptable as long as the people on the receiving end of them, like Mr. Patrice Motsepe in 1997, happen uh, to be black, not only Indian, but black, and be politically connected. Now, when we examine, uh, you know, the personal life of Mr. Patrice Motsepe, it says that he's married to Dr. Precious Molloy, a physician and fashion entrepreneur. They have three children. 
But he also happens to be the brother of Chepo Motsepe and Bridget Radebe, who in turn is the spouse of Minister Jeff Radebe in the South African cabinet. And therefore, Patrice Motsepe, Motsepe has two brothers-in-law in the South African government at the highest levels, including the President of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, who is his one brother-in-law, because Cyril Ramaphosa is married to Patrice Motsepe's sister. And his other brother-in-law is Minister Jeff Radebe. So I don't know how they do things in Nigeria, which is supposed to be one of the most corrupt countries in the world. But I doubt even there, things, there are so many insiders controlling both government and business and where the richest uh, people in the country are so intimately connected to others in the highest echelons of government. So then, again, the question needs to be asked, does Mr. Patrice Monsepe deserve his billions, one billion of which he has just donated to some stakeholders, including NGOs? And when I see that, that acronym, the NGO, that also makes my hair stand on end, because there are so many of them who are up to all kinds of mischief in South Africa and who are bound to bring this country uh, even lower than it is at present with the coronavirus and the crash in the rand and the crash in the stock exchange all taken into account. Well, thank you for watching. And if you haven't done so already, at the moment, the blue Pro logo is appearing on the screen. Click on it and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, hope to see you soon. Goodbye.